Hello again, and welcome back to the card match play Creativity Time. I put a trick up the other day called Disappearing Aces, in which I used uh, an envelope, shall we say, a gimmick envelope. It's basically a cheap man's himba wallet. Right? It looks like this. You've got an opening on this side, as you can see, and if I turn it around, it's got an opening on that side. Right? But they are not connected, they are two different openings, one there and one there. So you can take a card and hide it in one side, or as I did, four aces, and you can show it is completely empty. And when you put it down and you do a little bit of magic, you can pick it up again and you can show that miraculously a card or four cards or something has appeared in it. Right? So this is going to show you how to make that. I'm going to do this pretty quickish. I did say if anybody wanted to learn how to make one, I would do it. I had one person asking, and one person was good enough for me to get creative because I love this part of the job. I do. It's fantastic. And so, Paul Gach, I hope I pronounced your surname right. This one is basically just for you, my mate. First off, you need a piece of card. Yes, I've already drawn on it, but I will walk you through the lines. You need a ruler. You need a pencil. Use a pencil because you need to rub your lines out at the end. And you need a sharp knife. And you will need any playing card just for measurements. Right? Start off. Hope you can see right down the bottom. I've got a line. That's 10 millimetres or 1 centimetre from the bottom. Draw a line going across. Then from one of your sides, doesn't matter which side you go from, measure in another one centimetre or ten millimetres and draw a line up there. So you've basically got a border on the bottom and the side, right? Take your playing card and lay it so it's touching the bottom line and that side line. Draw up the side of it and across the top of it, very lightly because this is just for a guide, right? Pause this as you're going, get all the parts done as we're walking through it. Once you've done that, you then measure from the edge of the card, 2 centimetres or 20 millimetres, and you draw another vertical line. From the top of it, you will draw, you will mark 10 millimetres, 20 millimetres, and a 30 millimetres, and you'll draw perpendicular lines going across, right? Make sure all your lines are square, because it's going to be a box type thing, right? So that's got this part done. From this line, you will then put your card in again. And you will measure, uh, draw the line down that side of it. Don't worry about the top, you don't need to do that on this one. Just draw down that side. And again, measure 20 millimetres and draw the line. Again, put your card on. Do down the side and across the top on this one. Measure 20 millimetres and draw another line. Then a further 10 millimetres and draw another line. Right? So you've got a line at 20 mil and a 30 mil, or 2 centimetres and 3 centimetres. Again, you will mark 10, 20 and 30. So you get these lines perfectly straight across the top. Okay? You're up to that at the moment. Your card, you can now get rid of. So at the moment, you should have a line going across the bottom, 10 millimetres up. A line coming up the side, 10 millimetres in. Three lines up here. 10, mil 10 millimetres apart from the top of your card line, which was 10 millimetres. So you've got a 10 millimetre, a line, 10 millimetre, a line, 10 millimetre, a line, going straight across. From where the edge of your card was, you will have a line 20 millimetres across from that. From the line of the card again, another 20 millimetres, you will have a line. From the line from your card, you will have one at 20 millimetres and another one at 30 millimetres. Right, that's where you should be up to at the moment. Right, now on the bottom, on this middle section, you want to do two 45 degree lines. So measure in 10 millimetres and from the corner to where the 10 millimetres is, from the corner to where the 10 millimetres is, it'll give you a 45 degree angle. Same on this top side, measure in 10 millimetres from the corner to there, from the corner to there. Right. So you got the flaps for closing it. That's to give you 
that bottom flap there and that bottom flap there. From the edge, um, from that, 10 mm, that bottom 10 millimeter line, mark up another 10 millimeters, and same from this side. So you can then get a 45 degree angle on the ends. Again, from the first line at the top, you got your card line. The first line you drew above that, you want another diagonal coming in. And from there, another diagonal coming in. Right? You're with me so far. Again, from that line where that angle starts, you want to measure in from this line 15 millimeters and draw a straight line up. From this line, measure back 15 millimeters and draw a line up. On the bottom one, not on the top one, but on the bottom one, that'll give you this little cut in there. And when you turn it around, it'll give you that little cut in on there. Yeah. So on the bottom one, again, 15 millimeters, 15 millimeters, draw a line so it's 10 millimeters deep. Right. That's where you should be up to at the moment. Right. I will now pause this video because you need to now cut out that shape. Right. So I'll just cut this shape out and I'll come back. Right, once you've cut it out, you should basically have that shape. Hope you can see that. Now it's just a case of rubbing out all your pencil lines, because you do not want any of the pencil lines on it giving anything away, basically. So I'll just rub out all these lines and I will be back again. Right, once you've rubbed out all your pencil lines, it should be very clean. Right? You do need it clean. Now, what you want to do is start your folding. And what you're going to be doing is folding from that corner and that corner and this corner and that corner where the diagonals come to a square, basically. So you want to fold that down and fold that down, right? Always best to use a ruler or a straight edge to make sure you get it right. Get it folding up and make sure that it goes nice and square across to that other corner. And make sure it's got a good, strong, solid crease in it. Like that. And you want to do the same with this one. I won't use the ruler for this one. I'll just fold it by eye, shall we say. So that goes to that corner, from that corner. And down to that corner. Like so. Yeah. Give it a good crease. Like that. Now, one of them is going to be folded the opposite way. I should have said that. So you've got one folding this way and one folding that way. Once you've got it folded, now you can fold your little flaps. So you take the one off the back and make sure you fold that around the front. Like that. And again, get a good crease on it. And the other one obviously goes around the opposite way. And again, make sure it's creased really, really well. You've got a little, little cut in here, so that flap has obviously got to go the opposite way. So you fold that onto the back. And 
and this one goes this way onto the back of this one Now it's just a case of gluing these flaps down. I will glue them down and I will come back. Yeah, hey, I am back. I did not glue my fingers down. Well, not much. So once you've got it all glued, you should end up with a little envelope which has got an opening on this side. And if you turn it around, it has got an opening on that side. Which, as I say, you can hide cards inside of. As you see, it cannot be seen, but you show from that side and go, look, there's nothing in the envelope. Put it down, do your little bit of magic, making something disappear. Then you open up your envelope and miraculously there is a card or cards or whatever. Well, obviously not whatever. I mean, you wouldn't fit an elephant in there, but you get the idea. And that is how I made the envelope for that trick, which is basically, as I say, it's just a cheap man's Himber wallet. Very easy to construct, very versatile. Paul Gach, I hope that was good enough for you, mate. I did try doing it, showing it exactly all the time, drawing all the lines and everything else, but that video went on for 25 bloody minutes, and nobody was going to sit through that. So I hope this one was good enough to show how to construct the envelope so things disappear and reappear. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. I hope you can have a go at me. Come on, any problems, leave it in the comments and I'll do my best to sort it out for you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.